Hi, today we are going to read the story, Tyrone the Horrible. Balin doesn't know what to do about Tyrone the Horrible. Tyrone is bigger and stronger than the other dinosaur children. And picks on little Balin all the time. Nothing seems to work until Balin comes up with a very hot solution. Let's read and find out what the solution is. Boland was a little dinosaur. He lived with his mother and father in a great swamp forest. There were a lot of dinosaur children in Boland's neighborhood. They played together every day and Boland was friendly with all of them. All of them except one. His name was Tyron, or Tyron the Horrible, as he was usually called. He was just a kid himself, but he was much bigger and stronger than most of the others. He was a real bully. If you ever saw him, in fact, he was the world's first big bully. Tyron especially liked to pick on Bolland. He punched and teased him and always stole his snack or sandwich. Bolin tried to stay out of Tyron's way, but it seemed that no matter where he went, Tyron was waiting for him. Night after night, Bolin had a hard time getting to sleep. He kept on thinking of ways to avoid Tyron. It seemed hopeless. Bolin's friends tried to help. You have to get Tyron to be your friend, Terry said to Bolin one day. That's easier said than done, said Bolin. How do you make friends with someone who has been hurting and teasing you all your life? You had to give him a present and show him you care, Terry said. Bolin thought for a while. What kind of present could he give Tyron? Then, he remembered how Tyron was always taking his snacks and sandwiches. A present for Tyron? He said, well, at least it's worth a try. That afternoon, Violet went looking for Tyron. Here, he said in his friendliest voice, it's such a hot day. I thought you went like a nice ice cream cone. Tyron looked at Violet for a moment. Then, he smiled, a nasty smile. Ice cream for me? How sweet! Tyron grabbed the cone, then he turned it upside down and squashed it on Balin's head. Ha ha ha! Tyron laughed and walked away. Balin could hear Tyron's ladder for a long time, echoing through the forest. The next day, Bolin told his friend Stella what had happened. You are talking this too seriously, Stella said. Don't pay any attention to that big bully when he tries to tease you. Just stay cool. That's the only thing you'll understand. Staying cool when you are scared is not easy, Bolin said, but I will try. And so the next time Balin met Tyron, he stayed cool. Hi, lizard head! Poor Tyron. As Balin walked by, how about my sandwich? Balin did not pay any attention and didn't even try to run away. He kept on walking. I suppose I'll have to help myself again. Tyron said. He stamped on Balin's tail until Balin let go of the sandwich. Balin tried not to show his tears, but it hurt a lot. When Balin's friends found out what Tyron had done, they were furious. It's time to fight back, Stickle said. Tyron is giving you enough trouble. You must stand up to him and show him you are a dinosaur too. You can win any fight against him. Tyron just has a big mouth. That's all. Balin was angry too. You're right, he said. Maybe I should 
fight him and stop his nonsense once and for all. Well, Stiggle said, let's do it right now. The four friends marched off to find Tyron. Bowen stood up and faced Tyron, the whirl. Listen, you brute, he said. I have had enough of your bullying. Come on and fight. Tyron took one look at Bowen, then grinned and said, Okay, if that's what you want. It was a very short fight. Little Bowen had no chance against his big enemy. I'm sorry, Stego said. That was not a very good idea. You better give up. Some bullies you just can beat. You have to learn to live with them, whether you like it or not. But Bowen did not like it. There just has to be a way to beat a bully, he thought. He was still thinking as the moon came out and the stars filled the sky. Suddenly, he smiled, a big smile. That's it, he said to himself. Then he curled up and was soon fast asleep. The next morning, Bolin took his sandwich and went off into the swamp forest as usual. It wasn't long before he ran into Tyron. Another snap for me? roared Tyron. I hope it's something good. And with that, he swiped the sandwich out of Bolin's hand and swallowed it with one big gulp. Bolin walked on as fast as he could. Suddenly, he heard a terrible scream. Ah! It was Tyron. Huge flames were coming out of his mouth. Help! I'm burning! He cried. I'm dying! I'm poisoned! Help! Help! Nonsense, Bolin said with a laugh. It was only a sandwich. I didn't know you were so sensitive. I happen to like double thick red hot pepper sandwiches. Too bad you don't. He turned around and went off, leaving the moaning and groaning Tyron behind. From then on, Tyron stayed as far away from Bolin as he could. Bolin played happily with his friends in the swamp forest all day. And he never had trouble falling asleep at night. When much, much later, some scientists found Tyrone the horrible. He looked a little different, but he still had that nasty smile on his face. The end. <laughs>